So this is gonna be like a setup for what you'd use for like a box handstand push up. Feet on the box, hands on the ground. I call this kind of a box rocks drill, all right? Not only is it good to just help open up shoulder angle to get this towards 180 degrees, but it's also just a, another additional exercise to help understand the importance of what shoulders play towards stability of a handstand. Just as a quick comment with stability, the gross movement as it pertains to stability comes from your shoulders. So when you need to make a drastic movement to save a handstand, it comes from your shoulders being able to find that weight distribution. The subtle stability, uh, the subtle kind of uh, adjustments with stability come from your fingertip engagement, right? So the shoulders, gross movement, fingertip with subtle adjustments, all right? So this is all about trying to get the shoulder angle open and work on a wide range. Feet will be on box, hands will be on ground. You're gonna try to create a stacked shape, hips over, uh, shoulders over hands. Okay, so what you're gonna do, that's a great position, right? She's in that one complete line. So what I want you to do here is actually lean your shoulders in front of your hands, so create an angle, keep leaning, leaning, leaning. That'll be part one, so she's working on the front part of that stability. And now part two, she's going to be driving her shoulders, her armpits towards the box. So towards the box, the other direction, shoulders towards the box. Keep going, 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 going. And now I'm going to put a little additional pressure to help open up that angle a little bit beyond 180 degrees. Basically cupping around her shoulder, holding it for five seconds, then allowing her to rock back forward again. And then again, one more time, opening up that angle. You can duck that head a little bit and come down. Good. How'd that feel? Great. Okay? Yeah. Was it too much pressure? No, okay, so communicate with your partner in terms of the amount of pressure that they want and that they're capable of handling. I want to see three reps with a five second hold on each end position. All right, and just the end position when your shoulder's closer to the box. Very nice. So your shoulders are pretty flexible, right? Your shoulders are capable of going pretty far. What we need to be aware of is that we have to build a stability with your shoulder. People that are like hypermobile within positions have a tendency to be a little bit yeah. overly loose. Yep. So we have to continue to be, those hold positions, those static holds and those controlled movement are gonna go a long way in building stability as well, all right? Yeah. So that's a good one for you. Just make sure you hold that in position. Okay. I'm just gonna show you guys what this works towards. Uh, eventually you can start doing the same thing in a full inverted position. This will be a handstand rock. So instead of using the box as a guide, a little bit lower towards, uh, you know, a horizontal position with your legs. You would do the same thing in a handstand wall facing and you could kind of dictate it according to what your flexibility level is. So starting position would be nice and hollow. You can rock forward and then press shoulders all the way to the back, to the wall. The intention is to stay hollow the whole time and then eventually you can start moving further and further away. So, what's that? <laughs> so you, it's just incremental gains, right? So little by little, you start working towards being able to handle a wider range, all right? So starting close to the wall, you don't have to go very far. This is a starting point, and then to that. 